All right, what's up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul. A little bit different. I'm not gonna do all the whole intro and follow me and stuff like that. You can if you want to, but I just wanna sit down, me and you. It's, it's Tuesday, I started a new series, uh, YouTuber Tuesday. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm gonna be talking about why I, you know, uh, <laughs> don't really feel comfortable getting vulnerable on YouTube anymore. Um, so I hope this helps some other YouTubers, but also this is mainly for my audience. And if you have any suggestions, like go ahead and leave them down below, but this is gonna be pretty much unedited, I think, uh, uncensored. And one of the issues with being a YouTuber is like you have like your brand, right? Like your brand, what's my brand? And like YouTube was this place where it's like, you're just authentic. Right, you just talk how you talk, you be you, you just be authentically you. But, you know, especially just after you've been through some shit, like you're worried about what you're gonna say, who's it gonna upset, but I don't know, this video, like I might say some things, I might piss some people off and I, you know, it's whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be authentic, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about is, I'm making this video because I just got off the phone with my therapist and like, holy shit, I haven't talked to her in a month and a half, two months, something like that, just because my schedule and her schedule just hasn't been syncing up and just, man, just breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Cause I've, I've felt so stuck lately. Um, I set up an appointment with her cause I've been feeling uh, anhedonia, right? That kind of numbness um, that goes along with depression and everything. I thought it might be my meds, everything like that. And yeah, we, we talked through it and like, I don't know, man, like I feel like alive and I'm like, holy shit, like it, it feels, and like any of you who have been in therapy, you know what I'm talking about. It feels like, well, hopefully if you have a good therapist, <laughs> feels like just something like the gears in my brain were like clogged and just talking with her just kind of, it unclogs some shit and now I can keep moving forward. But the first thing I want to talk about is my therapist is a better help therapist, all right? Better help is a great service. My therapist is a fully licensed therapist here in the uh, state of Nevada, and she's a fucking badass, all right? So anybody out there who still believes in the conspiracy theory that BetterHelp doesn't have real therapists, like you're a schmuck, okay? <laughs> you are a schmuck. So yes, I am an affiliate of BetterHelp, so they actually give me free therapy because I promote you know, their service because it's awesome. But anyways, if you wanna ever check them out, I always uh, have their uh, affiliate link down in the description below. But anyways, so I was talking with her and um, I don't know how much I wanna tell you guys cause I don't wanna make this video like an hour long. Uh, I'm only three minutes in, let's do this. So I, t I was talking to her about the numbness, you know what I mean, and this feeling and everything. We were talking and she's just, you know, trying to open me up and figure this thing out with those questions that therapists ask you and stuff like that. And um, I told her like, I just haven't felt passionate and motivated and things. And um, I don't like that. I don't wanna be, I've never wanted to be just one of those people who's just mindlessly going through life. And then next thing you know, like I'm lying on my deathbed, like I've wanted to make a positive impact on this world. And also ever since I got sober seven years ago and was almost dying, like, I feel like, you know, I, I wanna do something, right? I wanna leave a positive impact on this world. I wanna help people. I wanna do this, but I just haven't felt motivated. And one of the goals I've had, and some of you who follow me on social media, you know I've been talking about starting my new book and everything like that. And uh, I'll just throw a spoiler out there for you. So I was gonna make it, um, originally I was gonna write it about depression, but then I was like, no, 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 I wanna write it about happiness, right? And I've been stuck and I was telling her, you know, um, cause I'm not working on anything big, like just the YouTube thing. Like I love creating, I love putting videos and sharing my ideas and thoughts and everything like that. But like, uh, I'm usually working on something bigger. Like I love writing, right? Like before YouTube even started, like I wrote my first book, you know, like writing is who I am and then YouTube just happened to work. But I was telling her, like, I was gonna make the book Rewire Your Happiness, but I'm like, I haven't felt like that kind of like, oomph, that motivation, that, uh, you know, and I'm not just gonna write like a dull book on happiness. And she's like, why'd you wanna write that book? And I told her, I was like, I was like, you know, I've been through so much in my life 
and you know, I had to get sober seven years ago. My first year sober was a bitch. The second year sober was harder than that. For five years straight, my life started going good, and this year was the most difficult year of my life since I got sober. And I was like, and you know what? Like, I didn't relapse. Um, I wasn't, you know, suicidal and all of that. And like, hold on, I told you guys I wasn't gonna edit, but let me see. Uh, in a minute, <laughs> recording, I'll go back down. Okay, Tristan just got home with groceries and she asked me if I can come down. I was trying to time it so I could record this. Anyways, that's the thing, but I'll go down and I'll grab the groceries after I finish this. So uh, yeah, I was gonna make it um, rewire your happiness, but oh, oh, no, no, no. So uh, I wasn't suicidal or anything like that. And that's crazy for a guy like me, right? I'm a drug addict. Like something like, like losing 20,000 subscribers, having the whole world hate you. Like that's something that should drive anybody over the edge. And I'm like, I was telling her, I was like, I want to help people. I want to show people like you can get through shit. Like no matter how hard things are going through, like, because most people out there, they don't have to worry about picking up a drink or a drug or anything like that. Like, so I want to show people like, if I can get through this, you can get through anything. So I was telling her, I was like, you know, and then it clicked. I'm like, maybe I've been stuck and haven't started on this book because I, I shouldn't be writing Rewire Your Happiness right now. I should be working on something else and just, just discussing how you can get through stuff and trying to inspire people and, you know, and share the strategies that I use and everything like that. Um, so yeah, we kind of got there, but then we were talking and yeah, we, we kind of got to this thing where um, we were talking about vulnerability and, you know, like how I help people, right? Like part of the way I, I help people and always have, and it's what I learned when I got sober was share your experience so you can help others. And I don't know how we got to the conversation, but when I started this channel and I always thought, um, that I, I always thought that I did a good job, you know, sharing my experience, like I'm a crazy person just like all of you. I'm just less crazy than I used to be. You know what I mean? I thought I did a good job explaining that and uh, for forever since I've had my channel and even when I was working in the rehab center, like it was no problem sharing and getting vulnerable and, and being like, yo, I'm going through this too and everything like that and you know, whatever. And I was always making videos like that as well. And it's been, Ever since everything happened back in March or, or April, it, it's been hard to do that, right? And I'm like, why, like why? Like why am I stuck? Why am I afraid to get vulnerable on camera? I was like, I've, I've shared my story, like my addiction recovery story in front of hundreds of people at uh, uh, you know, uh, mental health conferences and at the rehab center, everything like that. I've shared my addiction story on YouTube in front of thousands of people and everything like that, right? So I'm like, so what the fuck is wrong with me? Why, why can't I do that? And yeah, like just talking with her, I'm like, I, I know what it is. I know what it is. See, see back in the day when I started this channel, when I started, you know, um, sharing at the, uh, you know, uh, running groups and everything at the rehab, like, like I did that and it inspired other people. Like, look, like I'm a, I'm a straight, dude, you know, whatever, with a beard and everything, and I can hop in front of people and get vulnerable and talk about mental health and some things that other people don't talk about, and it inspires other people to open up and talk about that, right? So, the thing is, it's like ever since everything happened, I have this like fear in my head because now when I hop on a video, and get vulnerable, I have this massive fear. And it's so fucking stupid. I have this massive fear that if I sit down on camera and get real, get honest, get vulnerable, I'm gonna have a bunch of little assholes coming in and saying, oh, look at this guy just playing the victim, right? And it's dumb that I even let that bother me, you know? And like I said, a lot of you who've uh, been watching the last week or two, like I'm trying to make sure I provide you guys with value and everything like that. And like, why am I worried about them when my goal is to help you? You know what I mean? But I'm so worried about me getting vulnerable on camera and people saying I'm playing the victim and oh my God, he doesn't take any responsibility. And, ah, 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 just all this dumb shit, right? So what I do 
for kind of this like safety cushion thing is, you know, I, I had one of uh, my mentors ask me yesterday, he was like, uh, he's like, Chris is like, why do you still make videos, you know, using YouTubers as topics and then talking about mental health. He's like, that hasn't been working for you for months or whatever. And uh, you know, part of it, be completely honest, like part of it is I know a lot of you, 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 you came here from that, right? And that's how you learn and everything, you know? So like that is a learning technique that works. Like, oh, I can relate to that YouTuber. Here, let's learn about mental health. But what I kind of realized today was part of that's a safety net. Like if I use a YouTuber as a topic, then I don't have to fully, you know, just sit here and talk my own experience, right? But then there's the other group of assholes who comes in and says, oh, you only talk about YouTube, blah, 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 blah. So in my mind, it's kind of this damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. So that's why I haven't been sitting here and getting like real and just, you know, just doing this like a, a traditional mental health channel. But, uh, but I'm gonna start trying to do that more and everything. And I, I put up a poll the other day. Um, there were some asshole comments on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, I, I was like, what topics do you guys want me to talk about? Depression, anxiety, trauma, you know, whatever. Um, and I think I did another poll because November's coming up and it's like National Writers Month. And I was gonna start daily blogging and everything like that and like, I want to blog and just share my experience and hopefully help others and let you know like, hey, here's what I'm going through and here's what I'm doing to get through it, get over it. Like therapy, you know, um, meditation, keeping active, keeping busy, you know, something that I really wanna discuss in a video is how do you get shit done when you don't wanna get shit done, right? Like one of the biggest symptoms of depression is this lack of motivation, but like, I keep moving forward, I keep doing things, I keep making videos, I keep working on other projects and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot that I wanna share, whether it's in video, whether it's in blog form or whatever, like one of the reasons I wanna blog is just get back into the writing mode so that I can start writing a book um, again and everything like that. But I did wanna sit down and discuss like just a little bit about what's going on with me and why I make the videos I make or why I don't make certain videos, but I'm gonna try to do better uh, at that and just not letting the assholes bother me as much, you know what I mean? Uh, but recently I, um, you know, I made that really smart decision to unblock everybody and it hasn't been that bad. Like I'm not, not like in all seriousness, it hasn't been that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse, but I unblocked everybody and it did open up this like demonic floodgate of dickheads <laughs> who come in and talk shit, but whatever. But I, um, I haven't been as active in the comments because of that. Like, Hell, we're being honest, we're being vulnerable. I have not been in the comment section as much as usual because people come in just talking shit and like, I really, I really, and like I said, like <laughs> us YouTubers, we gotta find this balance with being authentic. But sometimes like when I see those comments and one of the reasons I don't read them is because I see it and I just wanna tell people to go fuck themselves. You know what I mean? And that's probably not brand friendly for my brand because I'm the mental health guy, but I'm not that kind of mental health guy. Like I'm a human with feelings and emotions and I don't like when people are assholes. Like I'll end with this. I was telling my, my, uh, my therapist this, um, and <laughs> if anybody says Chris is playing the victim, here's the part where they're gonna say that. I was telling my therapist right before we got off the phone, I'm like, it, it just bothers me because I'm just a dude who wakes up in the morning, I wanna help people with their mental health, that's it. But for some reason, people just won't stop fucking with me, you know? Um, and I get it, like, uh, you know, I have my style, I have my tone and everything, and I've pissed some people off and everything like that. But at the end of the day, like, there's all these, like, crazy conspiracy theories out there about why I do what I do. But, like, the 1,000% the honest truth is I like helping people. You know what I mean? So... That's it, but anyways, uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, comments, uh, if there's any topics that you want me to cover, um, you guys have really been into videos where I just kind of share what's going on. Like, um, so I don't know, I, I, I wanna make a commitment to myself to kind of do more of these and challenge myself and take risks and kind of get out of that mindset of like, oh no, I'm worried about miserable 
assholes on the internet saying I'm playing a victim. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try to challenge myself more and sit down and do some videos like this. All right, anyways, that's all I got. Happy Tuesday. I'll see y'all tomorrow.